feels good to win. Good to get a win, that's for sure. And uh, see happy faces in the locker room. And uh, I think we just kind of took care of business, did what we needed to do tonight. I think we're just better offensively, Dave. I mean, really, we finally made a few shots. And uh, uh, I thought we were good defensively both halves. We weren't good rebounding the ball in that first half. So we rebounded better. But I think we just finally made some shots. And so, it's, a, it's amazing to watch them for me because I know how these guys can shoot. I know what they've done in the past. I know what they do in practice. But, you know, I think the losing has affected our confidence a little bit. And uh, you know, we got some great looks early in the ball game. That, you know, great shooters are just not going down. And we we, we got to make that next step and, and, and you know, get, off the, get off the starting blocks in a positive way. Uh, and when we do that, I, I, our kids are going to be very excited. Well, I honestly thought we got great shots in the first half. I mean, I really do. I mean, I, I could go back over wide open three. I thought we missed layups. I thought we missed three or four opportunities to get and ones, you know, when our big kids had ball and didn't miss the layup and got the free throw line. And uh, even right down to the last play, you know, we ran a little set and Marcus got to the rim and missed the layup and got fouled. And we get one point instead of three points out of it. So I, I really thought we got great shots in the first half. I thought we pushed the ball better the second half. We just, not scoring affected our the speed of the game a little bit for us. Well, the best thing Brandon did was defend tonight. I mean, he played really hard on the defensive end. Uh, and I think because we were getting team stops, it gave us a chance to get the ball to Brandon in the open court a little bit. And, uh, you know, we want to run with the ball some, but you've got to stop your opponent to run. So, but he was very good in open floor. I thought he made great decisions tonight, too. There were maybe one, one charge he should have looked to pass the ball on, but I thought Brandon did a good job penetrating and get it, getting it to the open man. Uh, trying to find his line here real quick. Uh, one assist, that's hard to believe. Um, I mean, he could have had four or five if we made some shots, I think, you know, when, when he made those passes. But uh, I thought he was really good. He's been playing very well for us in practice. Well, it's a, it's a very difficult time here at William & Mary. I mean, our guys are hammered for 10 days in exams, and uh, uh, it's the only non-one game we play, and it's a great time to put it in. Uh, you know, it's uh, not as challenging a game as going to Missouri, uh, so it's a, it's a good place to play that game, I think. Well, it is a big time for us. It, really, it was a really big time for this team, especially, because we had not had guys playing together because of all of our injuries, which I've well documented. I, I know that, but uh, it's the first time we've had eight to 10 days with 12 players on the floor. And so I think we, we, we had some continuity of what we were doing. We worked on some alignments that we liked. Uh, it helped us with our rotations tonight and who played the game a little bit. And, uh, and we're tweaking things a little bit, Dave. I, mean, I think we, we, we did some things different defensively well tonight. I thought we had better variety on the offensive end tonight. And uh, so it, it, it was a good 10 days for our club. I honestly thought we'd play better than we did today I mean, because we've been so good in practice the last 10 days. I'm just I'm waiting for that, that breakout day for us. Well, I mean, from here, I mean, our schedule's brutal. I mean, if you look at what we got the next three games before we get the conference play, then we go to George Mason. So uh, no... Uh, no weak sisters out there for us, that's for sure. I think Missouri, and I said this on the radio, I mean, I think Missouri's as good a team as we've played since I've been at William and Mary. I mean, I, I, you know, we've been to North Carolina, we've been to Connecticut, and the way they're playing right now is as good as I've seen. Uh, there's, no, there's no weakness. They're strong, they're quick, they're shooting the lights out of the basketball, and playing with a lot of spirit, too. And then the Iona, Iona game here may be as good as anybody on our schedule, you know, coming in uh, next week. Next Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever it is. I think it's really important for us right now. You know, we're going to we're going to some tough games in here, but we we're competing better right now. You know, we've got a little bit of stability right now. We've had these 12 guys at practice for for 10 straight days now. It's the first time all year. I told our players, I really I felt like we're coming out of preseason right now. I really do. It's the first time we've had any continuity. And uh, what's really important for us is to compete hard in these games. And I think we'll see an improvement in our execution against this. You know, high level.